Hello and welcome to episode 13 of my Stardew Valley tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on trying to get to level 40 in the mine. I have got as far as level 35 but I thought I would show getting to level 40 which is actually one of the quests. Um, my weapon has improved now. I've got a steel small sword which does more damage than the um, rusty sword that I had. I got this when I got to level 20 or 30 I believe. Anyway let's head down into the mine. You'll notice I've got a load of stone. Also summer has begun so there's a whole new load of crops that you can grow and forage. Um, but for now we'll focus on the mine. So let's get down into the mine. Let's equip my sword and 35 is as deep as I've got. Okay, let's see if I can get to 40. Of course, the deeper you get in the mine, the nastier the monsters get. But we need to get deeper, because we need iron. Oh, here's the first new monster. Some sort of zombie creature. down. Now I have brought a load of stone with me in case I can't find a way down. Oh there we go. Let's do these chests. Cave carrots are needed for the community centre so that's handy. way down so far. We'll keep looking. Oh, it looks like there's some copper down there. Oh, that was lucky. There were stairs there. I always right click when it's very dark just in case there is stairs because the game does love to hide the stairs from you in the darker levels. Right, that noise you just heard means there's going to be a bat coming after me. That means two bats coming after me. Here they come. Loads of bats coming after me. that's them dealt with. Let's see if I can find this way down. Okay, what I'm going to do is build some stairs down, a staircase, because I'm running out of energy and I want to get to 40. Ah, there's a load of copper here. Right, let's eat. Get me a bit of energy back. Oh, the ball head. That's definitely worth eating. There we go. Nice. Let's grab some more copper. I'm 
starting to accumulate a bit of copper now, which is good. I thought I heard a monster then. Yeah, there is one there. Let's bring him over to the light. You can see they're getting tougher. Let's grab this copper. Oh, some coal out the car. Whenever you see a coal car, always go over to it and right click on it because you'll get a load of coal. Ah, some torches. I'll grab them for if it gets really dark again. Okay, I'm going to build another staircase because I want to get down to 40. Oh, now I've got bats attacking me. Right, let's get down before I get more aggro. So, one more level. And you know what? I'm going to do it via staircase. Because it's dark, I've got bats attacking. And there we go, let's show you the treasure that you get. Oh, a slingshot. I don't really use the slingshot. I prefer to do, because uh, you've got to have stones for the slingshot. But anyway, there we are, we've made it to level 40. Let's progress on a bit. But be very careful now, because if you die, you will lose. It's quite harsh and punish punishing if you die. Oh, got that one where I wanted him. Doing a lot of damage. Thing you've got to do is back them into a wall, like so. And these slimes are a lot tougher. Ah, but here is iron. So I need to take care of this slime so I can get to that iron. Oh, this ain't going well. Right, let's grab the iron and run. Okay, well at least I've made it to the iron now in the mines. Um, I'm not going to risk my health. It is getting late anyway. So let's leave the mine and head back. Okay, do a quick little bit of fishing because I've got a little bit of energy left. I've been catching a good assortment of fish which I'll have to show you. This one's a bit trickier. Chub. I've already got a chub. What's he worth energy wise? 35, so quite a good fish. Uh, let's do a bit more. Something I wanted to mention about fishing, which I haven't as well, is there's many different factors which. Uh, allow you to catch different fish. The distance the blobber is from the land is one, so if I fish here there's a chance that I'll get different fish from fishing here. Also, um, the other factors that 
that uh, can change the types of fish you catch are the, the location, the season, the time of day and the weather. All of them factors mean that you can catch different types of fish. Now some fish are easy to catch like this fish but fish like the eels are very difficult. Okay right I'm not going to push my luck let's head back. See if I've gained any skills. Because it's summer, remember we need to keep our, I need to keep my eyes out for any crops that are growing because I'm going to need them now to do the summer community centre. that was all about. Oh, it was an earthquake during the night. That can't been good. No, I've already, where it says rerun, it means I've already got it. So, let's leave. Okay, so let's water my plants. I had a disaster with the, with the spring crops. I'd invested all my money in buying seeds. And I planted my last crop one day too late. And I lost the lot. So I lost all my money. Good job I've been collecting fish um, because I was able to sell them and buy more crops. But it just goes to show if you plant your crops at the wrong time, you'll have a total disaster like I did. And I lost all my money. Oh, I've got five iron. 182 copper now, so I'm starting to get plenty of copper, which is cool. Let's throw the coal in there as well, and that, and the torches, which I won't need. I've been keeping the Adventurer Guild stuff in this one, and eventually I'm going to sell it to the Adventurers Guild, and I'll take all of this stuff over there. And I've been separating, separating out the flowers, oops, there's another fish. Let's put the fish in there. So, okay, you can see some of the fish that I've been catching. All of these fish I've caught in the spring season. So all of the fish that I'm showing you here, you can catch in spring. And you can catch them from the different locations of the lake and the river, which is here in my farm, and the sea. This largemouth bass I caught um, in the northeast lake where I was just fishing a moment ago. The rest of the fish, the shad and these, well it tells you river. If it's river, that means I've caught it on my farm here. Uh, if it doesn't say river and it's fresh water, then I've caught it in the lake to the northeast. But you can see that a lot of these fish are needed for the community centre. The eels were very difficult to catch. They jump all over the place when you're when the bar's going up. They just do jumps. Very difficult, but like you can see here, it is easy. Um, not easy, but you can catch them. So don't worry about that. Okay, if we look at the community centre, just have a look at what fish. So the river fish bundle, I've got a sunfish, I've got a catfish, I've got a shad, I only need a tiger trout. So that's all I need for the river fish. For the night fishing bundle, I've got a bream and I've got an eel, I only need the wall eye. For the lake fishing bundle, I've got a largemouth bass, I've got a carp, I've got a bullhead, I just need a sturgeon. And the ocean fishing bundle, I've got a sardine. And that's it. So, oops, there's the timer. So I've still got to catch a tuna, a red snapper and tilapia. And lastly, 
uh, the crab pot I haven't got around to doing yet uh, which these you can get on the beach so these four here I believe you can get on the beach and I got a crab out the cave so this I should be able to do with ease I just need a cockle uh, and then I've got this bit the crab bundle done and the specialty fish again I've seen these drop in the cave so that's where I'm hoping to get them anyway there we are that's the fishing bundle got to level 40 in the mine so I can now start accumulating iron and can get my farming up I need to get my farming up if I just quickly show you that the recipes I need to get my farming up. I've got the sprinkler, but I want to get the um, improved sprinkler, which does all eight adjacent uh, tiles. This one will only do four, so I don't want to bother making this one. I'm going to wait until I get the eight sprinkler. So I need to get my farming up another level. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.